हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज स्पीड टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस दिस इज अ प्रीटी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड वी हैव सीन टू टू थ्री क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक एंड मे बी मोर सम टाइम्स सो देयर आर मेनी वेरिएशंस टू दिस टॉपिक एंड देयर आर मेनी Uh, different kind of questions which we could see from this topic so this is a pretty simple concept which we have already known since our childhood days that speed is equal to distance by time so you all know um, for example there is a car car is moving at a speed of 100 km per hour so which simply means the car will cover 100 km in 1 hour 100 km prati ghanta ki raftar se car chal rahi hai to hame pata hai ki hum 1 ghante mein 100 km safar tay karenge ab ye bahut hi ek simple concept hai but isme exams mein hame jo variations milte hain wo bahut sare hain so first variation is about the average speed average speed is there are um, different scenarios in which we have to calculate the average speed so average speed could be when distance is first scenario is average speed first scenario distance equal so there is a point a point b तो अब कार ट्रेवल्स एक्स किलोमीटर पर आर फॉर से हाफ द डिस्टेंस एंड वाई किलोमीटर पर आर फॉर सेकेंड हाफ द डिस्टेंस सो वट वुड बी द एवरेज स्पीड इफ द डिस्टेंस आर इक्वल सो सो कैलकुलेटिंग द स्पीड वट वी नीड टू डू डिस्टेंस डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम so if we have distance equal and speed different then average speed is equal to total distance over total time so let us say this distance is 1 km plus 1 km so time taken for the traveling this 1 km would be 1 by x for this 1 km would be 1 by y so time is equal to distance by speed distance is 1 km speed is x distance is 1 km speed is y right so this is 2 divided by this is x plus y by xy this is 2 xy over x plus y so if you have to calculate the average speed you have to calculate the average speed when distances are equal so the another case could be we have one more kilometer at a distance at a speed of z so similarly we would get average speed is equal to 3 into x into y into z over xy plus yz plus xz so this is the average speed if it is traveling another 1 km at a speed of z uh this is when we calculate the average speed when distance is equal and when time is equal so when the time is equal then we could simply take the average of the speed अगर आप टाइम इक्वल देखते हैं तो एवरेज स्पीड इज एक्स प्लस वाई बाई टू विच वुड सिंपली मीन हम एक घंटे के लिए फी आर ट्रेवलिंग फॉर वन आर एट ए स्पीड ऑफ सिक्सटी एंड फॉर वन आर वी आर ट्रेवलिंग एट ए स्पीड ऑफ एटी किलोमीटर्स पर आर 
then we would cover 140 kilometers which is at a speed of 70 kilometers per hour which is the average of 60 and 80. Similarly, if there are three speeds, then x plus y plus z plus by three. So this is the concept of av average speed. The second uh, major concept which we would see, or the type of questions which we would see in this topic is based on trains. So train. there is a goal post or a single person and a train is passing. So what is the speed of the train? Speed of the train is equal to length of train by time taken. Because so this is the speed of the train, this is a stationary point. So this is not moving. So train has to cover this, this much distance to cross this person so this is the distance, this is the length of the train over time table. Now, say this is of a certain length, L2 and L1. Now the speed is L1 plus L2 by time table. So if the object is stationary and it has a particular length, then we have to add the length uh, of the object. Now third uh, scenario is there is an object and it is moving. So it is moving in say this, this direction. So say this is moving at a x speed, this is moving at a y speed. So then the speed of these two is equal to length of train by time taken and say it is moving in this direction with the speed of y then x minus y is equal to length of train by time taken. So these are the kind of variations which we could see whether object is moving in the direction of the train opposite to the train, object is stationary, object has a particular length. So these are the different scenarios which we could have. Another scenario is when there are two points. This is point A and this is point B. A train leaves from point A and a train leaves from point B. And they meet at a point C. Now, if the train A needs to cover, train uh, A reaches B. From this point to this point, it takes A seconds. Similarly, train B reaches A and it takes B seconds. Then speed of the two trains is R in the ratio, A is speed over B is speed is equals to under root B divided by under root A. So, we know a train leaves A and B at the same time, they intersect at C. Now, this train B reaches A in B seconds, this train A reaches B in A seconds. So A speed to the ratio of B speed is under root of B divided by under root of A. Third type of questions which we would see from this topic are the boats and streams. So boats and streams, what we need to know in this topic is boats and streams. First of all, boat direction and stream direction are same. 
then it is called as downstream. The boat direction is opposite to the stream direction, then it is called as upstream. And so for upstream. So the directions are opposite so speed is x minus y downstream x minus y kilometers per hour x stream ki uh, speed hai y boat ki downstream mein it becomes x plus y kilometers per hour अगर हमें ये अपस्ट्रीम ए एंड ये डाउन स्ट्रीम बी है स्टिल वाटर में स्पीड क्या होगी हाफ ऑफ बी स्पीड सो अपस्ट्रीम इज वेन द बोट इज मूविंग against the flow and downstream is when the boat is moving with the flow so um, these are the main concepts uh, from the boats and streams topic basically we have to know the speed x and y so if boat is moving with x and stream is opposite then obviously we would subtract the two speed and get the resultant speed now the last topic from this is circular tracks so person is moving a and a person is moving with the speed of x and y so now the time taken is equal to distance by speed so distance is the circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r divided by speed is x plus y similarly if they are moving in the same direction then time taken would be 2 pi r divided by x minus y another point to remember in circular tracks sometimes they ask when would they move meet at the starting point so formula opposite direction is lcm of C by x and C by y, whether in opposite direction or same direction. So, when would they meet at the same starting point? How do we find? C is circumference divided by x, speed of one, circumference divided by speed of two. The LCM of these two would give us when would they meet at the starting point or the time? Time. to meet at the starting point so in circular tracks we have a couple of formulas same distance by speed distance here is a circle 2 pi r and speed is would be added if they are moving in the opposite direction would be subtracted if they are in the same direction time to meet at the starting point is uh, could be found out by lcm of c by x and c by y which is circumference by speed of 1 and circumference is divided by speed of second one 
so these are the major uh, concepts which we need to know from this topic and uh, we will solve the questions which have appeared in the ibps exam in the next video from this topic thank you so much for watching the video